Knives Out is a new murder mystery film from writer-director Ryan Johnson, who most recently made The Last Jedi and also made films like Looper and Brick. And sorry for the late review for this one, it did come out quite a while ago, and I didn't get a chance to see this until now. And I was desperate to see this film, as I love Ryan Johnson's work, especially as a writer, as well as a director. And Looper is one of the best films I've discovered this year, and I implore every single one of you to watch Looper. And the stellar ensemble cast that Johnson has been able to assemble for this is not wasted and is absolutely worth it. Everyone gets a great one-liner or two and have distinct personalities and great scenes. The standouts here though are Anna de Armas, Chris Evans who is delightfully detestable and of course Daniel Craig with his accent which really adds to the tone of the film. And Ryan Johnson's writing and script as I expected is perfect. There is a brilliantly twisty plot with some real surprises, great dialogue, some amazing jokes and some effective social commentary on America and immigration, which didn't feel forced like it usually can and felt like it was actually part of the film. And it says a lot about how perfect the script is when I say that I often get lost in murder mysteries and their big reveal scenes, yet here I absolutely didn't. You can clearly tell that Johnson wanted to make the most fun and entertaining and most tongue-in-cheek murder mystery film possible whilst lovingly poking fun at the genre's tropes, all while still trying to make an effective murder mystery that is fun to solve. Johnson wildly succeeds at everything he aims to do with this film and makes a very distinctive tone which doesn't take itself too seriously and that I won't be forgetting anytime soon. The modern day setting and references to pop culture also help to add to this and the script is truly what makes the film and it is one of the most entertaining films of the year because of it. The set design in the classic mystery mansion are stunning and add to the fun of the film as they feel so old fashioned as opposed to the pop culture jokes and modern day setting helping to create that really distinctive tone that I mentioned. And I have no flaws with the film but I just can't give it quite the top grades because the film seemed to me to be striving to make the absolute most fun murder mystery film it absolutely possibly could. And it really, really does succeed at this goal. And I can't stress that fact enough. But because it purely wants to be entertaining for the audience to such a high degree, it can't quite reach five star levels, but it is still the best and most fun version of itself that it possibly could have been. And I did absolutely enjoy it so, so much. So I'm going to give Knives Out an 8.5 out of 10. This is definitely one of the most entertaining films of the year and I would highly recommend it to everyone whenever you get the chance to see it as it is so much fun to try and solve the mystery and it is so much fun regardless. That was my review of Knives Out guys and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.